Well, it's Monday morning, a shade after nine. I'm headed to the post office to drop off two boxes of gray matter. And then I'm heading to the hardware store and to the bank to drop off a check from Saturday's knife gig. I uh, got an email from the unknown man. He went last night. He had a big night. For three rings, two gold, one silver. One had major ice. Nice taquito. Some stuff moving around, I guess. See you all in 11 or 12 o'clock. We're spin down the land of Nada. Stand by. Well, the lead's gone. Hair is gone, and the potting soil is coming in for the lady of the house. She has a specific brand she likes. So I had to get three more bags. She got six or seven bags the other day for herself, but she ran short. Now I got to put the gear in the truck, put the battery in the CTX. I'll get back to you soon. It's Monday, a little after one. Tide's low at four. Four something. We got plenty of time. It's a little breeze on the beach. It's 90 some degrees with no breeze. Lots of depositors. Low Tide Tim's behind us somewhere. Well, I've dug two pennies and a dime. And this is the first good sound I had. Uh, 1216. Let's see what this is. Tab. Who didn't know that? Nice pull tab. I don't know what this is. This is 1613. I don't know what a 1613 is. And apparently I still don't know. I don't see it. I don't hear it anymore. Oh, I see it. It's a bent up bottle cap. Look at that. Corona bent in half. Sixteen thirteen. That's a fine ticket. Now we got a bit of bling here. A stud. Still got the back on it. How do you lose that? Turn, face me. There you go. Turn around. Turn around. Madison Scott from Alabama. Nice addition to the beach today. All right, thank you. How long you been here? Well, let's see if Madison brought us any luck. We got a strong 1217 here. Strong 1217. You know, 1217 could be an old pull tab. We got it out. Uh oh, there it is, too. A damn pull tab. That's the life in the lane. Ha! I hate it when that happens.
I was going to go say hello to Tim and see what he found, but I just run across a quarter here. Or a silver ring one. Let's see what it is. Can't be one or the other. There's the damn quarter, I told you. 25 cents. Now let's go see what these pirates are. Then give me some luck here now. I got a 1214 solid. Solid 1214. That's one scoop. I got it out on two scoops. Come on, Madison. Give me some luck. Oh, the nickel. Guess what it's supposed to be? A nickel. Ha! I was hoping for something else for that number. Now we got 1119. 1119. On two scoops. 1117 out. I see it's a zipper. KP in Alaska, I got one of your zippers. It's a whole one too. You gotta pay extra for that. Get a hold. Of it. That's a brand new Excalibur right there. First day. First spin it's ever been on. Big stainless steel tungsten ticket already. <laughs> like a main guru. The guru of gurus. Mr. Dick, you probably can't see him again, but I forgot to tell you, he had a nice gold ring he found this morning for a lady on a return. He said she was a real fine ticket, too. <whistles> oh, Ty Tim making another pass. Anything yet? What do you got? Oh, oh. I see Bobby just put something. Bobby out there.
I don't know if this spells anything or not. Looks like an R, an I, a C, and a Y. Maybe Ricky. But maybe nothing. Just kind of cool. Larry. Larry's in the lane. He had a little silver ring. That's the only ring I've seen today, except for the one that Bobby had, the big tungsten. That's two rings I know of today. That's, you know, that's not bad. It's better than nothing. As you guys would say, it's better than a pull tab. That's exactly right. All right, stand by. We got five or six, seven, eight blocks to go. We got a 10th to 43 here, but it's really, really loud. I don't know, it's a pair of sunglasses or something. I don't know, some kind of box. That may be the interesting thing I ever found right there. If it's got any taquitos inside of it. Stand by for a later observation. First time we see Denny in three hours. Maybe four hours. Where's the taquitos? Look at silver. Yeah, you got a taquito. That's the second one I third one I seen. But Larry had the little silver one. And Bobby had a tungsten. Look at this thing. Look at what I just found right here. No. I don't know what it is. Oh, there it is. I hope it's full of gold coins. Oh, it's a, maybe a little person. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Looks like a battery pack. Looks like a lighter because the battery pack thing. They're not good battery pack in coffee. Right? You'll know in a little while. <laughs> I ain't either. We're getting ready for the roundup. But first we gotta crack open that doodad thing right there. See what all that stuff right there is. I got some close-ups. It's got some writing on it on this side. It appears to be military writing. I can't read it because it's in it's VDC and standard and STD. Nothing you can, nothing I can make out. So let's get into it and see what's actually in this thing. I don't know how this is going to turn out.
There's a roundup. Bleak today. Danny got a ring. Larry got a ring. And Bobby got a ring. No gold that I know of. Bling. You saw that bling. You saw that nice zipper. You saw it all. See you tomorrow somewhere. Good luck to everybody. The land of Nala. That's all left of the four, three flounders. Two fillets for me and Chris, and four fillets for my daughter and my ex-wife and her husband. They're eating flounder too. They're getting ready. I just cooked some sweet potatoes, and I'm getting ready to microwave some corn. Stand by. Secret sauce. Garlic and lemon juice and what else? Olive oil and oregano and salt and pepper. Oregano and olive oil. How long you cook it? About 15 minutes. 360? 50. 350. Uh -uh. That means put me in. Put me in the fire. Uh oh. That's a cat man do. I like flounder too. He wants to drink Jack's water. I don't know what he's doing. Jack's leg seems to be not 100% better, but almost. He, can, he runs on it now and doesn't hold it up, so. We played ball two days in a row now, so he seems to be okay. I guess it was just a strain or something. A sprain, I mean. I took the uh, husk off some of the corn. I'm going to microwave it. Cut the end of it off so you can slide it out of there after it's done. There it is, ready to go in the fire. Put her on the bottom. Want some handy? Go jump in there, you think? <laughs> He's a big old man, dude. He's a big old man, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. He don't like it when I bend down. He likes me standing up. He said, I don't know about this bending down stuff. And stand up, you can do what you want to me almost. That's most of it. Heirloom tomatoes. I got those from the uh, gig Saturday. If you can know anything about heirlooms, they're really, they're really good, but they're ugly. Do what? Fifteen minutes they would be done. Flounder broke up as we were taking it out of the pan. So we're going to put it in a separate dish. Big corner.
Where's that little black corner boy at? Stand by, I see y'all tomorrow. There's that carnivore. You go, black carnivore. Mm, here's another big carnivore. <laughs> He's hissing at Jack now.